Welcome back, everybody, to another segment of Wednesday Wisdom on the Educational Lady Podcast. Before we get to our guest, just want to remind you, we're still in the middle of our countdown uh, top 20. We're flashing back to the top uh, episodes uh, of the Educational Lady Podcast based on uh, downloads. Uh, we'll have our uh, number nine all-time uh, most downloaded episode coming up on Friday. But uh, hope you enjoyed the flashbacks. We're going to continue them through the uh, NADC conference, and then we'll start a brand new season. Um, nearly a thousand segments we've recorded between our interviews, our Wednesday Wisdoms, Tech Tuesdays, and our other features. So I uh, hope you keep listening. Uh, now we want to give a shout out to our sponsors real quickly. Just take a couple minutes. These are all companies that I used as an athletic director. You should be using them too. Here we go. We want to say thanks to Vital Signs Wall of Fame for their support of the podcast. If you're looking for a really cool way to display your school record boards or your school's Hall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com. Check out their interactive touch screen. That's right, touch screen video consoles. It's a great way to bring your school's legacy to life. That's vitalsignswalloffame.com. We also want to say thanks to Home Campus. Home Campus is the exclusive high school and state association management platform for us. It's also your one-stop platform for things like scheduling, uh, athletic clearance and eligibility, and all the things that go with it. You can also have your parents upload those forms uh, on their own. Tremendous time saver, and there's so much more. To get signed up, all you have to do is go to homecampus.com. Homecampus.com. You'll be glad you did. We also want to thank Sideline Interactive. Go to sidelineinteractive.com and schedule a live web demo to see their indoor score tables and video boards in action. Their products not only generate income for your department, but they also create the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. That's sidelineinteractive.com. Check them out today. We want to say thanks to Huddle for their support. Go to huddle.com and change the way you see the game. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years, but when I became an athletic director, I made sure our school was a Huddle school, and our coaches just loved the tools that Huddle provided that let them coach our kids up to their highest level. Go to huddle.com, join the 8 million users, and turn your school into a Huddle school. We also want to thank Snap Race. If you ever spent days and weeks with a fundraising platform and got little, if any, return, go to snapraise.com. It's hands down the best online fundraiser out there. We used it at our school. Tremendous success. And so will you. It flat out works. They also have an entire suite of platforms like Snap Manage, Snap Store, FanX, uh, that'll really make your life easier as an AD. You'll find it all at snapraise.com. We also want to thank Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. I don't think I need to say anything more, but I will. Hometown is digital ticketing that offers more, more support, more security, more customization. Go to hometownticketing.com, talk to their experts, let them get you set up and make the best solution for online ticketing. That's hometownticketing.com. We want to say thanks to Gipper for their support. Gipper's the official social media management solution for the podcast. And if you go to Gipper.com, their team will show you how to create world-class marketing content for your school's social media channel. Gipper's used and trusted by over 3,000 high school and college athletic programs across the country. It's professional graphic design made simple. Go to Gipper.com and get started. That's Gipper.com. And we want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. If you've never used a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes, you're really missing out. Go to athleticsurveys.com. They're going to create a custom survey that's going to connect you to your uh, constituents. Um, athletic directors already hear back from the complainers. Uh, athletic surveys will connect you to that group, but they're also going to connect you to the 98% that support your program. And that's a tremendously valuable tool to have when you're talking with a principal, your school board, or even a frustrated parent. Go to athleticsurveys.com. 
Check out all the things that they can do for you. That's athleticsurveys.com. Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of Wednesday Wisdom on the Educational AD Podcast. We've got one of our favorite guests, uh, Jennifer Garrett. If you're new to the podcast, you really need to uh, go to Jen's website. We'll give all that out later. She has an incredible background. She's a best-selling author. She's the host of a very popular uh, podcast. Uh, she works with NFL players. Um, you know, she she does it all. Jennifer Garrett, welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom. Hey, thanks so much for having me, Jake. I'm excited to be here yet again. For our listeners, we're recording this on December 4th, so it's very timely uh, when you're listening to it. Uh, you know, Jen is also, I'm going to, you know, spoiler alert, she's a, she has, a, she has like seven college degrees, including several advanced degrees. She's an alum of the University of Alabama, so we just got done talking about uh, the college football playoffs. I think she's going to talk a little bit about that today, but uh, uh, Jen, what do you have for our listeners uh, on Wednesday Wisdom? Yeah, thanks again, Jake, for having me. What I have today, I am an Alabama alum, and so I'm going to talk a little bit about Alabama and the SEC championship and their road to that championship, not because I want people to hear me talk about Alabama, but there is an important lesson that we can take off the field and really apply in our own lives that I want to emphasize with all of you today. And so for one, I mean, I think when after I watched the SEC championship and also the Iron Bowl, where it was fourth and 31, as you know, Jake, in Alabama, Jalen Milrow threw this amazing pass into the end zone. Isaiah Bond caught it and Alabama took the lead. And then a couple minutes left on the clock and Alabama ended up winning when pretty much people, I think I saw a stat that was like, Alabama had 0.1% um, shot of winning at that moment in time. And so it was just incredible. And then again, also during the SEC championship, I mean, Georgia is a phenomenal team, played a great game. Both teams did an awesome job on the field. And something that the Alabama team said after was afterwards was that you need to finish, the importance of finishing. And so that's what I really want to emphasize now, because for us off the field, we also have to finish whatever it is that we set out to do. Jake, when you introduced me, you mentioned my podcast. It's called Move the Ball. I finished four seasons of that show. We're about to go into season five. And ever since the beginning, some of the pro athletes that I've had on the show have talked about the importance of finishing. And that's really what differentiates to from other people. So the question is, you know, how do you finish? It's easy to say, right? Well, yeah, just finish what I set out to do. Make sure you're continuing to work on it. But life isn't always easy. And there's a lot of noise. What we know that's going on in the world and the economy can be a distraction. So how do you finish when you've got all of these other external environments out there? So there's a few things that I want to talk about there. So the first is discipline. You've got to be disciplined when the motivation and the positive energy has been taken from you because it's so easy to do something when you're motivated. But not every day you're going to feel like getting up and showing up. Not every day is going to be one that you're like, yeah, let's take on the day. So it's that's when discipline kicks in. You've really got to build this routine and this habit of discipline to work on the things that you need to get done, even when you don't want to do them. So I would challenge everyone to think about what are the habits that you're putting in place? Are you putting in the right habits so that you can be disciplined and execute on the day to day? I mean, that's really what championship football teams do, whether you're the SEC champion or, you know, the Big Ten champion or Pac-12 or, or whatever, like they focus on putting in the work on those things that they need to and the details matter. And I think that's important as well. Now, something else that will help you to finish is your mindset. What you tell yourself, and we, we've heard people all the time talk about how mindset matters, right? And it does matter. And what you tell yourself every morning to set the tone is really critical. So you can be telling your things that are going to help lift you up or they're going to tear you down, or you can let outside influences do the same. So it's really important to get in the habit of putting those positive thoughts in your mind. And people will talk about having gratitude, that is important. But what I'm also referring to is thinking about, are you telling yourself that you deserve to have the outcomes that you wanna, I'll give you an example. Um, Jamar Chase is an example back in 2019, obviously LSU had their championship 
And uh, Jamar Chase had put on his mirror that he wanted to have, I forget the stats, whatever the stats were, the outcome. And he saw that every single day. And he spoke about it to himself every single day as a reminder about when you tell yourself these things. The reason I'm emphasizing this is when you are telling yourself the outcomes that you want to achieve, what happens is you are more likely to put in the work to get those things. And so you're more likely to finish the tasks that you set out because you've conditioned your mind to be able to do that. But it's just about what you're telling yourself, you know, every single day. And it starts with what you tell yourself in the morning with, you know, what you wake up and uh, that self-talk is so powerful. So don't discount that. Another thing that's important is having confidence, believing that you're going to achieve and that you deserve these outcomes. Right. And so when I talk about the iron bowl, fourth and 31, you know, there's a lot on the line in that game for Auburn. It's just, you know, the pride of beating Bama, but for Bama, you know, they, they had a potential chance of getting to the CFP didn't know yet, but if they lost, they would not have. Right. And so it's fourth and 31. You've got a decision. I remember hearing the uh, commentators talk about, well, Alabama could kick a field goal here and have time to get the ball back and try again, but no, they went for it. They decided to go on fourth and 31 scored, like I mentioned earlier, won the game but you have to have the confidence that you can execute because if you don't have that confidence you won't execute I remember there was a guy who's a, um he's a running back plays for the Buffalo Bills Naheem Hines Naheem um unfortunately got injured so he was out this season but Naheem was on my podcast back in season I think it was one he's been on a couple times and he talked about confidence and he's like if you don't believe in yourself no one else is going to believe in you so it really again starts with you what you're telling yourself the confidence that you bring forward each and every day and if you believe in your ability to figure it out and to execute you will be able to execute maybe not necessarily on that first attempt but you will get there and that's so important and what, what why I say confidence is your ability to figure it out that doesn't mean we have all the answers that doesn't mean we don't have doubt, but you know that you're going to put yourself out there and you are going to pivot and do what you need to to be able to execute and get the job done and to finish. The other thing that's important is tuning out the noise. You know, we, we hear teams um, talk about how they don't pay attention to what's out there, the external noise, what people are saying. I know Coach Saban has talked about that a lot, that he doesn't pay attention to what's being printed or written on the internet. It's just focusing on how you execute and improving on what you need to, to be prepared for, you know, the next week's game, right? And so, for me, I think it's important for us. We have at our fingertips, our phones, we have the internet. We have so many things that we're consuming our time on that we should not allow uh, to really eat up that time. It's good to understand what's going on in the world, but it's really about focusing on what are you gonna control? What are the things that you can do to be able to continue to get those tasks done and to finish? And then the, the other thing that I wanted to mention here, too, was we just had the SEC championship. And after the game, there was an interview with Jalen Milrow, and the guy was asking him a number of questions. And he asked him this question about how the team had developed since their loss to Texas and, and how you know he had felt about that. And Jalen was in tears. And the commentator was like, or the interviewer was like, never mind that question, Jalen, talk about the emotion that you're going through right now. And what he said was, uh, when the world gave up on me, I didn't give up on myself. And I think that's important for us to remember, we might not have the world looking at us. But when there are people that doubt what we're doing, there are naysayers, we have them, we know they exist, there are trolls, there are all these people that do not believe in what it is that we're trying to do. It's important that we don't give up on ourselves. And so we continue to have that confidence, to have that belief, to leverage the support system that we have so that they can help us. And I'll use my, my move the ball phrase to move the ball because it takes a team to do that. And but we can't give up on ourselves, you know, no matter who's watching. I think the, the last thing that I want to talk about here is it's important to remember that not everyone is meant to be on the journey with you. And there's a chapter in my latest book called Dominate the Game is the book. The chapter is called With or Without You. And what it talks about is how there are meant to be people that are going to be with you. And there are some that are going to be not with you on your journey. And some of those people 
might have been with you on the journey in the beginning, but they're not meant to be there forever. And so that's okay, whether they're a disbeliever from day one or at some point along your journey, they become someone who doesn't support you or doesn't align. You just keep doing what you set out to do. You keep working on the things that you need to do so that you can finish. So that is my message for today, Jake. It's really all about finish and some elements to kind of help people be able to get across that goal line. Well, I always love listening to you. You got you bring up so many great points. Uh, you know, the positive self-talk, uh, you know, mental health coaches, you know, mental performance coaches, they talk about the importance of that. Uh, you also talk about the individuals that are going to be with you or maybe stay with you or not stay with you on your journey. And as you mentioned, you cover all this, you know, in your books and on your podcast. So uh, uh, I'd love to go into this for another hour, but I know you've got a lot of things going on. If one of our listeners wanted to reach out, find out more, and listeners, you've got a, a gold mine here of resources. Jen, tell them about the books and the podcast. Sure. Yeah. So the podcast is on all the major podcast platforms. Just search Move the Ball. It's on Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Audible, Amazon Music, the whole spectrum. Or you can go to movetheballpodcast.com. Uh, the books are called Move the Ball. It's the first book. The second book is called Dominate the Game. They are independent of one another, so you don't have to read one to, to read the other, but they do complement each other nicely. And you can check them out on Amazon or you can go to my website, which is www.getinsidethehuddle.com. And uh, uh, again, great resources. Get the books. You'll definitely have them on your desk. Uh, also, Jen works with uh, athletes, with coaches, with schools, with businesses, corporations. If you're looking for a great speaker or someone to help uh, you know, your uh, team, if you will, uh, dominate the game, uh, check out Jen Garrett. Uh, she's on LinkedIn and uh, also on our websites. Jen, uh, it's always great hanging out with you. Um, all the best moving forward and uh, hope you have a great holiday season. Well, thank you so much for having me, Jake, and have a wonderful holiday as well. Okay. And uh, good luck to, um, you know, Alabama, you know, for you. I'll, I'll be rooting for them because of you. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. For our listeners, uh, we do this every single week and we upload the Zoom recordings to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. Of course, we appreciate you listening. Come back next Wednesday for more Wednesday wisdom and just about every day for new content on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll see you next time. Yeah, make sure you check out Jen Garrett on LinkedIn. Go to her website uh, and, and get the books, listen to the podcast. Great, great resources for athletic directors and leaders. Before we go, uh, we want to give another shout out to our sponsors. Um, yeah, these are all companies, all uh, products that I used as an athletic director. You should be using them too. I uh, want to say thanks to Gipper, uh, Vital Signs, Wall of Fame, Hometown Ticketing, Snap Race, a uh, great online uh, fundraiser, uh, Home Campus, go to homecampus.com, Sideline Interactive Indoor Score Tables and Video Boards, Huddle, go to huddle.com, and Athletic Surveys, go to athleticsurveys.com to get started. Thanks again for listening to this segment of uh, Wednesday Wisdom. We'll see you next time on the Educational AD Podcast.